Hello and welcome to your daily reading. Let's go ahead and see what messages we have for today. Ooh, what have we got here? We have love and prosperity, but we have beware of who you trust. So we're guarded. We don't trust this love, all right? Whether you are the queen or if you're the king, it's really about trusting this love. Maybe you've been betrayed in the past and you're having some difficulties um, opening up. So let's go ahead and see what this is. Feeling neglected, feeling left out, feeling financially stressed. All right, this is the energy of lack. Carrying a heavy burden, trust issues, either you or your person. All right, so let's get the Lenormand and see what other messages there are for you. All right, so angels and guides, tell me more. Because, okay, so we really want to meet up with each other. This is what this is saying. I really want to meet up with my person. I really want to be with them, spend time with them. But it's just too many things in the way. All right, so that's why. So tell me, sorry, I'm going to move my camera so you can see them better. So let's have a look at what the Ten of Wands is. We have the lover. So is that you or is that your person? So it's a heavy weight. It weighs us down. It stresses us out. We don't know what to do. So tell me more about the news. So somebody is writing news. Okay, so constancy home, um, wanting to heal by the next holiday or they want to send you gifts to heal. They're compensating their absence with gifts for some of you. Uh, constancy at home or somebody, uh, constancy and home is a, a two energies of no change okay but they want to heal before the next holiday so they might have a date in mind they might be saying at this and this day or before new year before christmas before easter next year before your birthday um or they send you birthday birthday gifts in order to compensate for not being with you um but there is the energy of faith belief trust but you know the wolf is like i trust but i don't i trust you but should i that is what i'm feeling here because it's weighing me down ten of wands the mountain like carrying the world on your shoulders with this your person is sending you news you want to meet up with them but it's like nothing is changing and you don't know what's going to happen in the future so let's have a look what the Finder Seekle Keeper have. What does your angels and guides have to say? Journey, again, a travel card. So it looks like somebody may be traveling towards you. Tell me more about this. Unexpected um, bad health sent by news. Okay, so maybe unexpectedly somebody's become unwell or perhaps unexpectedly because this is unexpected something challenging and that's what they're sending news so somebody was going to come and see you spend time with you and then something came in the way and it's like oh i was looking forward to seeing you and now this is coming the way okay so now i get it let's see what the tarot have what do your angels and guides want to say through the tarot? What do your angels and guides want to say? So this is a Ten of Swords. It's very painful. A very, very painful situation. All right. It's hindering your progress. And you're not sure whether you trust them anymore. But you desire them so much. Or this is a new passion. This Ten of Swords is ending one. And then moving on to a new passion. Um, just moving on to my soulmate. Okay, so either we're going to let this one go because we don't trust them anymore So and we moved on to a new passion or it's hurting us but we love them so much and they're our soulmate so we're not going to let them go. So what is the guidance from your angels and guides? Let's ask Amira's 
love oracle what is the guidance this person is your twin flame that's why it's so challenging twin flame connections can be like that you're out of sync with each other but your souls such as calling each other maybe work is getting in the way and that's why um your guides might be just asking you to focus on your work do you have another love around you who is your true love but your twin flame is the painful one and your true love is the ace of wands the two of cups or is this twin flame your true love is this a love decider comment below let me know is this a love decider or is this person a painful true twin flame true love all in one package and it's just hurting so i really want to get some guidance for you um i'm going to use some more tarot what guidance do you have <laughs> that was interesting the em empress your guidance is to take care of yourself to be loving and supportive but to also just take care of yourself self-care is the guidance and advice it's saying the empress is saying take care of you you have to take care of you what else because the tower um and that's why you're guarded at nine of wands something didn't work out um and someone said came in and said something uh and it was some kind of secret about it's a secret two of cups or maybe with the pisces and it needed to be under the radar with temperance uh, but you were very committed all right uh, and waiting committed and waiting um, while your person decided what they should do or you're stuck at a crossroads and it's hurt, breaking your heart to do so and it's making you very anxious but you're very clear on what you need to do and that is to get out there again or to go with this prince of wands and take control of your life don't you love it i love tarot so much so let me know comment below is that your story your guides and your angels gave you a clear message there take care of yourself take control of your life and move on towards the love that is true all right i hope this gave you guidance and light it was very very direct but i think that your guides just want to give you uh, the best advice for you for your emotional health for your mental health for your spiritual health and leading up to your physical health because they don't want you to have sleepless nights they don't want you to have stress they don't want you to uh, have all this burden with the mountain and the ten of wands they want you to be carefree and happy and to be treated with love and respect as we all deserve all right I hope you enjoyed this reading and I hope it gave you a high vibe for the rest of your day. And as always, I send you love, peace and light. Bye for now.